Hello YouTube, I hope everybody is doing great. Today I'm making actually a video during daytime hours. So this is a video about the portable invert thermal imager that I received from Banggood. Thank you to them. Uh, I actually received it almost three weeks ago and only today I get around to make the overdue video for it. So this is what it says on the box and uh, this thermal imager has actually 32 by 24 pixels. Most cheap ones have 8 by 8 pixels which is like uh, very little. So that's the model number here and it came in this little box. I of course did take it out but I put it back in. This is how you receive this little puppy. They do come in two versions. One is black and one is frosted white. And uh, of course they take it apart. Oh. Quite noisy packaging. And the way they do the frosting is only on one side. And uh, I kind of like the idea. Uh, I guess because of the frosting, they did make a cutout for the display, as you can see. I would have covered the display area and frosted it and left the front closed. Um, but that's me. So this is the back. The only little thing... I am missing on this is a battery it does not have built-in battery it only has the micro USB port that you power with obviously 5 volt and you have it running and I can't believe they're using the exact same spacers I'm using um, anyway um, so I do have a candle because I'm gonna make the obligatory five finger hand test of course but I always also wanted to see what's happening with the um, candle so I am powering it with a USB power brick plug it in obviously version 0 0.1 and this is what you get very simple and uh, you do have Okay. Where's my hand? This is my hand. As you can see, my fingers are colder than. Uh, I can even heat up my finger. <laughs> so, and then you have the temperature reading. and uh, well you don't have much to adjust but you can see heat signatures obviously that's what it's for these are my monitors and my table is mostly cold and uh, i also i always wanted one of these i wanted to make it myself but the sensors are very very expensive and by the time I put this together, it's gonna cost me as much as I, if I would buy it. So, uh, I don't wanna drag this video on forever. So let's light up the candle. Ta-da! And well, it's off camera, but you can see it. And the flame is quite small right now, but still hot against the ice cold table. So it works wonderfully, it works really nice. And uh, what I will use this for also, apart from playing around, is uh, checking for leaks. Because our so-called windows, double glass windows, 
that I have here. They're supposed to be filled with gas to get the insulation. But here in Bulgaria, they are filled with regular air. So there is no vacuum. There is no gas in between the two panes of glass. It's double glass here. And uh, pretty much uh, useless in, in terms of uh, getting a proper, how you call it, uh, uh, well, 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 I can't think of the word, but to keep the cold and the hot out in the uh, the cold out in the winter and the hot out in the summer, and they do leak around the edges here, particularly on the bottom, and they leak so much that you can feel the cold air coming in. And I mean, those are new windows that we got a few years ago, so they're pretty much crap. And okay, by the way. Let me show you the page. I will put, of course, a link in the description. Uh, I would appreciate it if you buy it through my link, so I will get a tiny percentage um, of the proceed. And here you can see it. This is the version I bought with the frosted glass. It also comes in black. Just black acrylic. Matter of taste, of course. I, I actually was. Uh, I wanted to see how the frosting is done. If the plexiglass, if the acrylic, is frosted throughout, or if it's just one side. And it turns out it's just one side frosted. And here you can see the back and the side, which I showed you all. And. Um, they do have also different versions in case you can of course always use my main link and then go to the different versions if you want to buy it. This one for example has 8x8 eight eight, uh, resolution and this one has 32x24 and the range is minus 40 degrees centigrade up to 300. So actually, uh, I will upgrade mine to, um, I will build in a LiPo battery, in, including a charger, because I don't want to run around like this. And um, it would be nice to see, uh, now that I, I, mean, I knew it's high, but 300 degrees centigrade is pretty high. I would like to see my car engine and see where the most heat is from the view or from the top obviously so that would be interesting to know and you can also see that it's uh, 100 degrees inside of the flame i thought it would be higher but it seems like i, I never knew i will have to look it up if it's true that is just 100 degree uh, centigrade degrees inside of a flame of a candle but anyway um, this is really a inexpensive way to get into thermal imaging I know there are modules for cell phones and whatnot but they cost like two three hundred dollars and you do get more features and probably higher resolution but uh, I mean how many times you will need this and how much resolution do you actually need i think this resolution is uh, pretty much um, satisfactory i mean i don't know how much more resolution you need to see heat against the backdrop so anyway this was my short but i mean it doesn't have a menu you cannot adjust anything so um what else can i tell you i could take it apart but there's really not much on the pcb i mean you can see here there's a processor and it's sim pretty basic so as i said the most expensive part is the sensor itself 
and uh, they do not get cheaper the prices are increasing but it's nicely made the display has a as you can see a connector that you could if anything would happen to the display you could easily change it out those displays it's a 1.8 inch display um, they're not that expensive so if you drop it and hit it somehow and destroy the display you can easily replace it without even soldering you just unscrew it and unplug it here and put in your new display so um, as I said I would really appreciate it if you support me because uh, sales are down again I don't know what it is again uh, chip prices are increasing and um, as you might have seen I have a CNC lathe built going on but it uh, pretty much came to a halt because I need to buy more parts so in case you're wondering what this is this is a project that I started uh, let me see, I normally put a date on it, on the PCB. I'm wondering if I have it here. It's uh, a couple years old, maybe even more. So this is a line follower robot and it has a cutout uh, for OLED display. I do have a nice code for it with the menu and you can adjust settings. And... Um, if you're interested, I never populated this because I actually was afraid of uh, this little chip here and that is a dual LiPo charger because it runs with two LiPo batteries. It, it needs the higher voltage for the motors and whatnot. And I never built this or I never finished it and I would only make one if there is interest in it and um, chips are getting very expensive or they are very expensive and I don't want to put one on here and then have this thing sitting around and uh, not being used so if you're interested in it let me know the infrared sensors are down here the second chip and this is just for fun I was gonna those are for LEDs I was gonna make a Larson scanner on here uh, just for to make it a little nicer and I used you might uh, you might be able to tell this is actually a roller from a micro switch that I used as a third wheel so it can easily glide over any surface and uh, those are really some sticky sil I don't know what it's kind of silicone um, so they have very very good grip they are machined aluminum and I actually got these wheels from a robotic company in Turkey can you believe it um, so if you're interested please let me know I only then will make it Otherwise, it will sit here till prices come down and I can afford just putting chips on here and uh, following lines. So, this was it for today. Uh, thank you again for all the people that do support me and buy my products. And um, I would appreciate it if you do more of that. And if you like this video, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell for my next upcoming videos. Thank you everybody and stay safe.